Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Quiche with Quiche Does TV, and I'm continuing the series on building your band website in Drupal. So the last time we got the web server set up on a Mac, and if you're on Windows, you can actually use WAMP server and uh, PuTTY for the command line stuff. I'm not as familiar with those, but I will maybe eventually get Windows installed on my Mac, on my Mac, so I can play around and maybe do a tutorial in the in the future. But uh, so you do have those. We covered installing Drupal 7, and then we ended off right about on this screen. So uh, I did do the minimal install. Um, there is another install that will activate a bunch of other things, install a new, few new content types. But I thought it might be cool to start from uh, bare, from a bare site, and kind of work our way up to that point, so that I can just kind of show what's being done. Uh, behind the scenes when you run that install profile. So the first thing uh, we want to do is add some content but uh, we can't because we don't have any content types so we need to create one uh, but before I do that there are some other modules that are new to Drupal 7 that make administrating uh, the site a lot easier. Uh, contextual links is one so when you move your mouse over blocks or certain content uh, content types, nodes and, and whatnot, you'll have some some links right uh, that kind of fold out really nicely. Another one is field UI. In Drupal 7, fields are in core, meaning that every content type you can actually add other fields. They usually come with a title and a body, but you can add uh, upload fields for images or date fields, all that kind of stuff, and this is the user interface that uh, controls that. So um, we want to add the menu, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory there, but um, it adds the ability to add nodes to the menu pretty easily, uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we want to add taxonomy, which is for categori categorizing your content, and then we want to add toolbar. So save and configure those. There's some other options that or other dependencies that need to install, just push continue. And so we should be good now. Oh, I did forget one, uh, which is a pretty important one, is the overlay. So what this does is lets you edit pages without ever leaving the page you're on because it pulls the admin stuff in this little overlay. See, I can scroll up and down, but it's still the, the uh, same page that it was on before. And so here's the contextual links at work. I move it and I get this little gear and uh, a few uh, drop down things to configure blocks and different content. And uh, one other thing under appearance, there's a new uh, administration theme called seven. So at the very bottom of this page, you can set seven as your administration theme and I'm gonna use it for editing content. So when I close that and add content now I get this uh, now I get the uh, little pop-up too so now um, add content back to where we were there's not any content types yet so we're gonna create one and we're just gonna call this one page and uh, as you can see there's some uh, configuration options per content type what the title field is gonna be called if you want to require them to whoever's submitting the content to preview it, uh, if you want it promoted to the front page, if you want it published by default, sticky, which is something we'll get to in a few minutes, and if you want to create a new revision. So I'm going to turn off promoted front page because this is just static content, and I will turn on create new revision. We'll take a look at that later. Uh, this displays the author's name and date which is usually better for blog style posts I'm going to turn that off and you can put what menus it's going to be available to add on so we've got that content type there you got a page I want to create another uh, thing for us to do news uh, kinda of like a blog style deal uh, we'll just call this article and uh, content type for news articles that's good uh, we do want this to be promoted to the front page uh, we do want the 
author username and the publish date to be displayed but we don't want it to be added to the menu so I'm gonna save that so now we've got a few content types we can close out of that so now when I go to add content I've got these two things here so we're gonna add a page first we'll just call this the about page and under menu settings provide a menu link and you can actually title the menu different than what you title the page we'll just make it a little shorter there and you put what menu it's on and save and here we go so we have an about page we've got one in the menu and uh, you know we can click here to go home and yeah so if we wanted to add things to the menu manually you can actually click structure go to the menus here and under main menu we want to add a link and we'll just call this home and the path this is a special thing that you can put in that makes it go to the front page if you have it installed in a subdirectory or something you don't have to remember um, but normally you would just put the path uh, whatever the path to the page is so we're gonna save that and we want the home to be the first link so we can just kinda drag and drop right there it's kinda nifty and so now we've got our menu with the home page and the about page now the next thing I want to do is add some articles um, new we'll just use that so pretty basic here um, I'm just gonna leave all these as they are so here's the first article when I go home it's got the uh, first article there another thing is you've got the contextual link so I can edit right on the page and I'm gonna actually get some some longer text here and put some there so you'll see if I save it we've got on the home page we've got you know the shortened content when we click read more we've got the longer version and another cool thing is you can actually click edit summary let's say you just want to put something uh, in the summary that's not really on you know you want to force the summary to show only certain content you can do that so now uh, you've got the full post when I go back to home it's just got that sentence that I pasted in the summary which it actually can be totally different content if you want as well so um, let's see what do I want to do next okay so structure uh, taxonomy is for categorization vocabulary is just what they call groups of categories so you can create multiple groups and and uh, have them as different types of fields uh, so we're gonna make article categories the first one and you can either edit that uh, list all the terms which we don't have any right now or add terms which we're gonna add um, just a generic one for news we'll add another one for recording let's add another one for events so now we've got three different categories to use for for our um, articles so we click edit but there's nothing on there yet because we haven't added it to the field so when I click on content types <clears throat> pardon me uh, you'll see manage fields so we want to add a term reference leave it as a select list is fine and we'll call it category and article category and let's say we want to put that in the form above the body save that and then you'll have uh, you can require it or not you can select the default category and you can uh, let them pick multiple values uh, we'll just leave all that default and so now if I edit this I can put it under news 
So right now it doesn't actually show anything on the teaser. On the full post, it shows it right here. Now you can actually customize how these look per uh, uh, view type. So as I go to structure, content types, uh, manage display, so the default is what it looks like on a normal post. I don't want the the uh, label showing, I just want it to say news and we'll just move it above the body. So I'm going to save that and then on teaser I want to show it but we're going to do it below the body and we'll do the label inline. So instead of above as it is here we want the uh, label to be on the same line as the taxonomy term. So I'm going to save that and close it and it'll refresh the page and so here's my uh, new post and it's got the news link to so I can view all the things for that category and then when I go to home it says category news so I mean you don't have to do it like that that's just some other things you can do let's add a few more articles save it and we'll add another one for good measure okay cool so Go back to the home page. Here are all the different posts. Now, let's say I want this to stay at the top. I can edit, and under publishing options, I can do sticky. So now, this one's going to stay on until another sticky one uh, comes and it'll push it down. But that's uh, one way you can keep uh, featured, featured content at the top undo that and then uh, now you can just click on the category and you'll see that it will only have those two posts so I think we're uh, got a good start we can create pages we can create news I may uh, try to get a lot of the features in without touching any code at first and then once we have all the features ready to go we will start looking at some theming so I uh, hope you got something out of this, and uh, if so, keep watching, and I will see you next time. All right, later.